Alright guys, I didn't want to talk about this, because I was trying to focus on my Godzilla videos. But, turns out we have to go back to One Punch Man. So I made a Boros video a while ago, and I think the video still holds up pretty well. But let's talk about the manga. So, this whole Cosmic Fear Garo thing has gone out of hand. First we have the alleged Gamma Ray Burst. I know idiots like Versus Battle Wiki think it's like 70 meters across, but I literally checked and you could see the full thing, it's like 16. That's very small compared to a real thing, meaning it would be vastly lower in energy, even if you said it was real, which might not even be the case. But even if it's real, it's less than a thousand times the volume. So while Gamma Ray Bursts are equal to Supernovas or even more, Garo's Gamma Ray Bursts, wouldn't even be planet busting, it'd be more like moon level. And not even that, the new chapter shows it didn't even destroy a bunch of rocks. <laughs> oh, right, 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 right. But he can copy anything in the universe, right? So clearly it's star level, clearly. Now let's talk about uh, Saitama mode initial. So he copies Saitama's full power. And Blast is like, oh no, the Earth is going to be shattered, it's going to break into pieces. And then he consistently says, oh, it's going to blow up the planet, it's going to blow up the planet. But then, when he gets redirected, there's this like weird black thing that some try to say with like all their chest means that they like popped all those stars. But there's no proof of it, no character comments on it. Despite Blast being able to sense that energy, he doesn't say anything of the sort, and Blast can like blitz that attack pretty easily. These far faster characters who can sense distortions in space somehow don't notice it, and you're gonna tell me that they just nuked those stars? Okay, let's even pretend all that. A chunk of it literally slams Garo into Io, and the moon is fine. It has like borderline no damage on it. We literally see it hit, and it doesn't do anything. So, while it is a small portion, granted, it didn't even moon bust. Then Saitama says he's gonna use full power, so Limitless Saitama's dead, for good. And after this, Saitama beats the dog out of guard. He beats the shit out of him. This guy who supposedly contributed to half the multi-star bust, then Garo responds, doesn't moon bust either. There's a big explosion, but the moon's fine. Then Saitama does the serious table flip. I've seen this get like lined like twice, so that would be more consistent for like the planet stuff. Then, surprisingly, Saitama and Garo like both get stronger as they fight. Uh, Saitama's growth depends on his emotions, which you know he doesn't really have too many of those. We see at first his growth is pretty linear, and then this same Saitama who dogs Garo really hard does a serious sneeze and blasts away the surface of Jupiter. I've seen that get small star, there's even a high end for star, but I wouldn't trust that. He would probably upscale that because the serious sneeze, you know, is probably less than a serious punch. But then Garo, who witnesses this, thinks throwing Saitama into the sun would kill him. And we also see Garo is able to bleed Saitama somewhat. So Garo downscales from Saitama. The sun doesn't look anything like a sun at all, which to me implies that it's actually the serious punch squared that was moved by Blast and crew. We also see stars behind it in the direction of the alleged space hole. Plenty of stars still there, presumably planets as well. So the space hole is debunked really hard. I've seen some point this out, but when they go back in time, they see like a weird thing in space which some have tried to say is the space hole closing problem with that is the time reversal had already stopped and that thing is still there meaning that that was there before saitama though has gotten an upgrade he did get a lot stronger from the fight and he also has tracks now possibly if you teach him moves he can copy and refine techniques even better than garo can very circumstantial weird probably never gonna happen in a fight. So the time travel technique has been argued for a measurable speed. Uh, it's wrong for 80 inherent reasons. For one, it's a technique 
it's not speed related at all. Otherwise, Saitama would have just ran back in time, like Flash can or something. Not only that, he has to like concentrate and like spin his atoms in reverse in order to like go back in time. Garo gives him the ability. He grants it to him, and then Saitama finds it. Saitama forgot all of this, seemingly at the end of the chapter, meaning he will never time travel again. Unless Murata is an idiot. I also see people try to flex the zero punches thing, but that's literally wrong. Like, we literally see Saitama hit Garo in that page. So it'd at least be one punch, and we see Saitama hit Garo many, many times in their fight. So Saitama can't one punch everyone in fiction. He's not infinite strength. He does grow in fights, if you, like, motivate him. That being said, does Saitama beat Goku? He can beat Saiyan Saga Goku now. He's too slow, too weak, too stupid. Saitama still loses to Namek Archon. I made this because the One Punch Man idiots are getting out of hand. They want Garo to fight World Breaker Hulk, Sentry, Thor, Goku. They want Saitama to fight Thanos with the Infinity Gauntlet. They wanted to fight Kratos, Ashura. <laughs> from Ashra's Wrath, Doom Slayer, shit like that. So anyway guys, I'll be working on the Godzilla videos in a while. You'll have to deal with this for now. See you later.